Imagine for a moment a competitive first-person shooter map that is just a straight line. You can't go left, you can't go right, you can only go forwards and backwards. Imagine this map has minimal cover with awful spawns, it's narrow as I mentioned because it's a straight line, it's small, and now imagine having to play on a straight line with several players, half of which are not even on your side and will kill you the very second they see you. I can imagine you would say that sounds awful, but what I just described is Bridge, the worst map I've ever seen or had to play on in Pavlov. I'll get to its redeeming factors in a moment for those who wish to uh, even give me a second to explain myself and everything here, but a bridge is just a bridge with a spawn on one end of the bridge and a spawn on the other side of the bridge. It might have a couple on one side and a couple on the other side, but still, for the most part, it's just one spawn over there and one spawn over here. Now, I've always said that the spawning of Pavlov is not the greatest, having been spawn trapped many times on every single map in the game, but Bridge is worse than any map I've actually seen when it comes to these spawns. This spawn trapping, if you will, here. It is, it is almost as if it's designed for someone to spawn trap the other team or players. You can literally just kill someone, wait two seconds, then kill them again, all without moving from your position. That might not realistically happen because you'll die from a different enemy before it happens, but in small enough lobbies, you 100% can do this. I've had it happen to me before. I've seen other people do it. I, shit, I've done it at least once, and that might not sound fun, or that may sound fun, until it's you who is getting spawn trapped and killed over and over and over again. And of course, that can't be fun, right? Now, I have never been in any game of... Uh, team deathmatch or gun game or really anything on bridge that didn't lead me to dying like every five to ten seconds Even if I got a kill or even two maybe sometimes even three kills before I died I would die within like the first five ten seconds because of how small and narrow the map is You were almost guaranteed to be killed because there's just such a huge amount of players Just the sheer number of players you're almost guaranteed to be killed within this time frame Now someone will always be pointing a gun at you and no amount of skill can protect you from that because as I said Said, there's so many players it's inevitable that someone is almost always going to be pointing a gun at you because of how many guns are going to be on the map right this is even worse in in team deathmatch because when you spawn in you have to spend a few seconds to buy your weapon or else you're just stuck with a shitty pistol meaning if you join late uh there is a chance that you just never get to buy a weapon because you just you're, you're gonna already be spawn trapped by this time yeah, now this isn't like something like Shipment from Call of Duty, which is small and chaotic and is a big spawn die, spawn die type of map. Where in Shipment, which honestly I'm not a huge fan of either, but in Shipment you can go places. There are places and paths and directions other than forward and backwards. In Bridge, you may as well be playing in a very long hallway, or really not even that long of a hallway. Now there are a couple of good things about Bridge, as I mentioned earlier. If you're doing a 1v1 with your friend, Bridge can be fun for something like Gun Game or One of the Chamber, but even in a 1v1 game mode, maybe even especially with a 1v1 uh, game here, spawn trapping is still way too easy. That's why if you are going to do that, you almost have to play with a friend who will play fair and not just spawn trap you over and over and over again, right? Now, there is also the gimmick of bridge being that you can kind of climb up the railing on the bridge, like on the sides of the bridge or whatever, to get on top of it. It is a bit of an extra layer to the map to kind of break up the hallway, but it isn't very effective at doing that. There is zero cover up there, and it almost looks unintentional. Like, it's always looked like you were kind of glitching out of the map to me. It doesn't offer much of an advantage, and is basically just a second hallway above the original one, which is which has even less cover than the one underneath it. Now, while climbing up there is fun, it offers too great of a place to spawn trap opponents since you can just see straight at half of the spawns in the game, which are all right next to each other. Because again, all the spawns are on one side and then all the other spawns on the other side. So when you're up there, you can basically see all the spawns, right? At least half of them. That's another thing too about this game too, is like there's so many places on this game in, in, in this map here, bridge, where if you're just looking in a direction, you're looking at almost all the spawns in the game, right? So that, that kind of adds to the spawn trapping of it. Now the map doesn't have to offer a boring three lane design or anything like that, especially comparing it to other maps in the game, which prove you don't have to do that. No, bridge just needs the ability to go somewhere other than forward and backwards. 
Why can't we go left or right and go into a small area that leads us up to the other side of the bridge? Or why not add a second bridge and give players the ability to go left or right to choose which bridge they go across? Uh, throwing a way to jump off the bridge onto something like maybe a boat or something like that that is stopped halfway under the bridge or something, and boom, there you go. You got something that's a little bit more interesting. The boat itself could even offer multiple places and directions to go, even having ladders into some kind of lower section of that boat. Or maybe just a ladder back up to the bridge or to to one of the spawn locations or some some kind of mechanics like this right bridge has so much potential because i really like the idea of the bridge being the main path to and from the spawns but it shouldn't be the only way to get there because you end up with the equivalent of an empty flat field with rocks scattered across it which honestly now that i'm kind of thinking about it that might even be better than a narrow hallway the map just needs a little bit of a rework because as it is right now it's just a narrow hallway which means as soon as you spawn you can see the enemy spawn point or like within the next half second you can see the enemy spawn point there's not a whole lot of time to really do anything there's no you can't think at all on this map um you just you just spawn you die within the first five to ten seconds because someone's already looking at your spawn um, many people are already looking at your spawn it's just it's just too too bad especially again in something like gun game or a free-for-all game mode with a bunch of players on it you may as well just give up and not even join the lobby at that point so yeah i don't know how uh, common this like thing is for bridge i don't know how commonly people hate this map but i don't ever actually really see it that often uh, on the uh the server list and stuff like that the map list and things like that i don't ever really see people playing on it i do see it every now and again and i'm like why why are people playing on this I played it a few times myself, like I said before, with Gun Game or something like that with friends. But it's gotta, you gotta, you gotta play fair when, when you play on this map because it's just, it's, it's not, it's just not a fair map. Uh, but yeah, there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, my little complaining here about the bridge map in Pavlov. Uh, I already know that all the comments before I even got to this point are gonna be filled with people saying like, "Oh no, bridge is bridge is a masterpiece. You just suck at the game," and blah 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 blah, blah all that kind of stuff. Uh, because of course, be of course that would happen. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you uh, did, I'd very much appreciate you liking the video, subscribing to the channel, and maybe even sharing the channel or sharing the video around because it really 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 helps out this channel a ton and uh yeah do all those awesome things like that and remember to stay asleep